Flat corners are not easy and quite frankly I'd probably describe them as my nemesis. If you feel like that too, stay tuned as we work through a few techniques to try and get better at flat corners. Okay, let's walk the track. We're going to use some timing equipment and we're going to film each other as well because those two tools are a really good way of figuring out if what you're trying is actually better or not. So and try and give you some ideas about what you can do on your local trails to get better in the corners, smoother, faster and feel like a boss on your bike. Okay, David's gone up to set his, uh, his benchmark time, his first run time. So let's see what he's gonna get. All right, what did you get? Ooh, you got 14.83. <clears throat> what did you get? My first one was 14.97. Whoa! So should we do looking up first? I think you can make a lot of time just by looking up. Looking up and looking where? As you enter the corner, you want to be looking for the exit, but not necessarily at it. Because if you imagine you were doing a 180 hairpin and you tried to look at the exit, you'd literally go like this. Whoop! Well, that doesn't work. So what we want to do is enter yeah. the corner and, and be searching for our exit. Yeah. So having your eyes up, Trying to spot your exit as you make your way through the corner is really important. That's something I really struggle with. I don't, yeah, I don't do it. So I think we should practice. We should do a run on that and just see if it gives us a faster time. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Just concentrate on that. Yeah. That's so what I'm going to do first of all is try and spot the like pre-exit down just after the shadow that's being cast by the bush by the rock. Whoa! Wowzers, my tyres are sliding. <laughs> Ooh. Like looking that far ahead around the corner felt really alien. So let's see what time I got. Ooh, fastest time yet, 14.5 seconds. That's quite, that's a 0.4 improvement over the uh, benchmark time. Nice. Still looking down the front wheel. Come on, David, look around the corner. What'd I get? What'd I get? Ah, 14.77. What did you get? Oh no, 14.51, you bumhead. Still working on looking around the corner. <clears throat> Whoa. That was funny, coming into this last corner, I almost forgot to look for my exit. Ooh, and I've gone slower, 14.71 that time. And I nearly forgot to look. <laughs> so in the corner that's down there. Old habits, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, exactly, I just was getting into it. But it was funny because in comparison to how far ahead I looked on this one, yeah. I kind of found myself not looking far ahead enough or, or what we are working on, how far yeah. ahead to look. And so I had to remind myself. Hmm. But I think that's how it is when you're yeah. So used to looking a little bit too close, you've got to constantly remind yourself to just get your eyes up and just look that little bit further ahead. Keeping our eyes up around these turns made the most obvious difference to our run times. It's like the easiest thing you can do. You're going to have to keep reminding yourself to do it. It's about eight weeks ago since we filmed this and I'm still reminding myself on every ride I go on, but it does make a big difference. And it is starting to become second nature now, which is really cool. Both of us kept messing up this left-hander just close to the start, so we went back to have a look and see what line we needed to be taking. Oh, brilliant, nearly rode right off the track. That was quite impressive. Yeah, I think this corner is probably the hot, hardest corner. Like, I just seem to come into it, come into it nice, and then as I'm exiting here, it's just, there's just skidding, loss of grip. I think you need to come out onto the grass and then drop back in. That's exactly what I was thinking. So we've got to go. So while I wait for David to get into position, I'm kind of visualizing what I'm going to do here with these lines so that I can try and get them right whilst keeping my eyes up because that's when it's difficult. So we're just thinking about getting out onto that grass and cutting back in, just running it through in my mind while I wait. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little bit slow on the exit there. What do you reckon? It looked it, it look good. So, no loss of grip here. Yeah. Felt good and it felt smooth. Definitely, I could feel myself braking. Um, and I really felt like I had to angulate my bike. Really lean it over in that corner. I think the line choice in there is critical to getting that corner smooth and not losing time. I've just set the fastest time of the day. Have you? I thought you might. What'd you get? 14.27. No! I, I just said to camera, I was like, I think I've got my work cut out. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Interesting. Okay, right. So Let's go set turn. a time. Oh, what is it? What is it? <gasps> oh my word! Yeah, boy! So, what do you reckon? 14. 14. 17. Ooh! 0.1 faster than me! Wow! It looked really smooth. If you, Because if you just concentrate on being smooth, it almost like yeah. through into your head as a right I need to be smooth with my braking I need to be looking where I'm going the four the four key factors for, for uh, cornering are concentrate on being smooth concentrate on searching for your exit concentrate on seeing if you can get the brakes off as you exit potentially leaning your bike over angulating your bike more to generate more grip out of the tyres we carried on practicing, really trying to be smooth, looking for our exit as we entered the corner, and trying to let off the brakes as we exited the corner to carry as much speed as we could. Oh my word, this is not at all smooth, this is drifty, drifty everywhere. 1387, fastest time. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, David's going to be alarmed. Well, I thought I'd had the worst run in the world ever. But? I got 13.87. No! <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Why did you think it was the worst run ever? Because it felt really ragged. Yeah boy, come on, look up, look round, look round. Yes, that felt good. That really did feel good. Hit my lines. Oh, what is it? What is it? Come on, please. Yes! Get in! Come on, Em. Come on, Em. Come on. I had a full, full slide out. What did you do? 13.71. Oh, you've beaten me! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it felt real good. No, mine just felt I like really committed, good body shape. I was telling myself, let off the brakes. Look. Yeah, it was good. Actually, one of the key things about sessioning and practicing is don't overdo it. So we've been here probably for too long, to be honest, about two and a half hours. Sometimes you can find if you practice for too long, you start to regress. I personally feel like I'm at that point. Um, but yeah, it's been really cool. We've both managed to set a sub 14 second time. So we've kind of proved to ourselves that we have the ability to do it. Unfortunately, neither of us were able to repeat that, but we know it's possible. So that's pretty cool. David started to get really consistent, getting some really consistent times around about the 14.10 mark. And actually, to be honest, my times were consistent, I, but I am a bit disappointed that I wasn't able to repeat that, that sub 14 second time. But I think that's the joys of mountain biking and progressing. So yeah, it's been good. So if you want to go out and practice your flat turns like we've been today, I'd say the things that you really want to focus on is find yourself a fairly short, repeatable section of trail. Do a little track walk, select some lines. Um, you want to consider being smooth. You want to consider searching out your exit with your eyes, keeping your eyes up so you can see where you need to be going. Um, you need to be considering your braking. So we were trailing our brakes and we started to think, let's see if we can get off so that we can exit with good speed. It's, it can be quite hard to slow down before a corner. Like I, Perhaps you're like me, I'm like, yeah, this is great, I'm loving this trail. Oh, I don't want to slow down for this corner. But what happens is then you go into the corner so fast, you've got to slow down to exit. And in a race scenario, or in a scenario where you're trying to beat your friends, 
you're just going to lose loads of speed. So it is better to enter a little bit slower so you can let off as you exit and you're going to pick up some speed. And uh, yeah, I think, well, we've definitely made progress. I started with a 14.97 time. My final kind of consistent times were 14.2-ish. So it's 0.7 that I've that I've taken off. It's, that's a fair bit on a on a short sort of 14 second piece of trail. So you could do that down a three minute piece of track that's going to be quite a significant saving on time so i hope you enjoyed watching this i hope you found it useful i hope you can take these principles away and have a go at sessioning corners and uh, take your riding to the next level thanks for watching and we'll see you next time